Welcome to Thought for the Day on today, Tuesday, the 10th of January. And our reading today is Psalm 87. And I'm reading from the NIV. He has set his foundation on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. I will record Rahab and Babylon among those who acknowledge me. Philistia too and Tyre, along with Cush, and will say, this one was born in Zion. Indeed, of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her. And the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord will write in the register of all the peoples, this one was born in Zion. As they make music, they will sing, all my fountains are in you. I don't think I've ever heard a sermon preached on this psalm. Um, I've certainly never preached a sermon on it. It's a very curious psalm. And it seems to say things which are contradiction or different to a lot of other passages, in, in particular in the Old Testament, when it comes to the nations. In Psalm 2, it begins, Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord, against his anointed one. Words which Handel put together to music in his oratorio, the Messiah. In many places, the nations are a restless evil, fighting against God's chosen people. The nations are ones who are there to, to lead God's people astray. And when going into the, the promised land, the children of Israel were told, don't have anything to do with the original inhabitants. They'll just corrupt you. And certainly throughout Israel's history, perhaps with a, a brief exception for the reigns of David and Solomon, it's the nations round about Israel that pose the biggest threat threat to the very existence of the nation. And here we have God saying that members of these nations will be acknowledged among God's people. Not just members of them, but he will record whole nations. And it's interesting which nations God includes in this list. There's Rahab. Rahab is a symbolic name for Egypt, the oldest enemy of Israel. Israel was birthed out of slavery in Egypt and through the exodus people of Israel were rescued from their captivity in Egypt. There's Babylon, the latest and greatest danger to Israel, who in time will destroy Jerusalem. Philistia, the nation of Goliath of Gath, and the Philistines who, throughout the reign of King Saul and into the early part of David's reign, are a ever-present danger to the security of, of the nation. Tyre, up the Mediterranean coast, was never conquered by Israel. It was a great mercantile centre, but a place where the worship of Baal was foremost and centre. And it's through that influence that the northern nation of Israel is pulled away from God. And finally, Cush. Cush is now modern-day South Sudan, northern Ethiopia, a symbol for the ends of the earth. The Cushites in the ancient world were known for fighting on the backs of elephants, a kind of pretty unstoppable force. But all these nations... In this psalm, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. I will record these nations among those who acknowledge me. Indeed, of Zion it will be said, verse 5, this one and that one were born in her. And it's interesting that God's plan is that even in our current geopolitical situation where we have nations fighting against nations, God is not nationalistic. He doesn't see one nation as better 
than another. No one nation can claim to have God on their side in any one matter. But God is the God of the nations, and his plans are universal, not particular. And so for this chosen people of Israel, this is a corrective to a view which is that we've got to keep ourselves holy and separate from the rest of the world. The call for Israel is to be a light, to be salt in the, among the, the light to, of the nations around them, the Gentile nations, to be a light to speak of the goodness of God and to call the nations back to a proper worship of God the Creator. And I think the really interesting thing is that the nations here are described as becoming listed as if they were born in Zion. Not just given citizenship, like the British government giving citizenship to Hong Kong Chinese, but saying you were born in Zion. You, this is your home, this is your place where you have always meant to be. So God's plan for this world is to call all nations to himself, to welcome every tribe, nation, tongue, people under the banner of Jesus Christ. This is an Old Testament prophecy set to music, which sees its fulfillment in the New Testament. Because we read in the book of Revelation about how God's plan is for Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem, to come down out of heaven. And there all the nations are gathered, a multitude beyond that can be numbered, singing praise to God. So when we look at the news, when we look at the wars that take place, the conflicts that are in our world today, don't lose heart. God has a bigger plan, a plan to redeem his whole creation, to bring peace on this earth through his son, the Prince of Peace. And glorious things are spoken of this God who we serve and we love. May God bless you this day. Don't lose heart. Keep praying. And may we see the glorious things that God will do in our world. Amen.